Hi, I'm here with the 2012 GI Film Festival with two of the stars from Army Wives. First, I'd like to thank you guys for being here tonight and graciously accepting your awards. That was wonderful. Um, what was some of the inspiration behind your characters? Did you actually get to talk with some military families or? That's probably a one for you in particular. Well, my, uh, yeah, for me in particular because my oldest brother is a retired Navy captain. So I was just given this fantastic role, uh, but the voice that kind of came through me is my brother. Okay. So. Um, and I would say that my character, uh, first starting um, at the beginning of the series, she's brand new to the Army, so I kind of, I took, I took the easy way out and did no research and talked to no one, because I was like, if I do, then I'll know something. So I'm just going to find it out along the way. And then um, Lifetime gave us the opportunity to go um, to, where do we go? Fort Bragg. Fort Bragg, right. Um, between season one and season two, okay. when I felt like, okay, Roxy would have had some exposure, and now I want to see what she would have been exposed to. Um, so through the years after the first season, I've definitely met and, um, and, and learned a lot from real life Army spouses. Because a lot like Roxy in the show, real Army wives, don't hesitate to tell you exactly what's on their exactly. mind. Exactly. Yeah. Well, the comment that I get most of the time is like, "My husband tells me I'm exactly like Roxy," and I'm like, mm, "I don't know if that's so good." But well, let me ask you this: What is the best compliment you've had by a fan, whether it be somebody who's in the military or just a civilian? Um, I mean, just to have the support of of anyone involved in the military, whether it's a, a soldier or um, you know, a military spouse, just to have that support is the best compliment we could get. I mean, if we were doing something wrong, they wouldn't watch, you right. know? And so just to have their support. Um, but I mean, the number of things that have been said to me, like I've had soldiers come up to me in the airport and be like, thank you so much. You make my, you know, the, my deployments for my wife easier. I mean, it's like, I can't, you can't, it doesn't get any better than that. So. That's just one of many. Yeah, and it's true. I mean, after we wouldn't be on a second year if right. it wasn't for the support that we've gotten, uh, much less six and a hundred episodes. Yeah. Um, Congratulations! But Thank uh, you. I've gotten a number of comments from veterans, and just last week the Under Secretary of the Army, Dr. Westfall, was there, and he he just looked at me and went, "That's." Good casting. Now, what does your brother have to say about the movie? <laughs> <laughs> His comment usually is, when I ask him some advice, he goes, oh, just throw your shoulders back, lower your voice, and look like you're going to cry. That's what you do anyway, so just do it. <laughs> <laughs> that's, all, that's it. I'd like to thank you guys very oh, much. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, Jeffrey. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Terry says hua. Yeah. Say hua. Terry Serpico, who plays Frank Sherwood, says hua all the time. Yes. Oh. Even when you're directing him and you give he him goes, a hua. acting note, he goes, whoop.